So the reason we do uh, neurophysiologic intraoperative monitoring basically is to prevent damage to the spinal cord nerves uh, and prevent injury to the patient uh, in any of these procedures that may have patients a neurological injury. We're there to make sure that that doesn't happen. Uh, prior to the use of neurophysiologic intraoperative monitoring, there was a high incidence of post-operative uh, neurological deficits. Since we've implemented this into the surgical uh, procedures, we've lowered that risk dramatically. So it's a big, big patient safety issue, and it's something that is done routinely now uh, with spine, uh, neurosurgery, orthopedic spine surgery, and even some vascular procedures. Uh, anytime that there's a chance of risk to uh, a nervous structure and we can monitor it, uh, they'll call us in to do that. So what are we doing? I know you're doing some uh, monitoring right here on the patient that he's undergoing surgery. So what we do? What does monitoring entail? What we're doing is neurophysiologic intraoperative monitoring. And what we do basically is watch the nerves throughout the whole procedure while Dr. Cordero is doing his work. Depending on the type of procedure, that will dictate what kind of monitoring we do. For this patient, we're doing somatosensory of both potentials and free-running electromyography. way we're able to watch and let him know if he's getting close to the nerves so he can avoid it and or go around it. Just some tapping, just some tapping artifact. She's looking good. Yep. So right now as he's passing one of his instruments past the nerve root, we're able to let him know if he's getting too close to that nerve and he can avoid it and redirect where he's going. So it's, it's, it's really patient safety. Uh, and it's something we do on virtually all spine surgeries that we do here with Dr. Porter Riddle. So this is standard practice for every, any spine surgery where you're going to be so close to the spine nerve. Yes, especially in our region. Uh, one of the things you'll notice with intraoperative monitoring is it, it's a regional type of approach. So uh, in, in our area, it is pretty much the standard of care for these type of procedures. Now, what's the benefit for the patient of doing this uh, type of uh, monitoring? The way I like to uh, describe it, and I do this when I talk to the patients as well, it's like if you were uh, asleep and your arm starts to f fall asleep and get numb, you wake up because you can feel it. Well, when a patient's un in surgery and, <clears throat> and they're under anesthesia, they're not able to do that. So we act as that warning system for them to let them know if something's happening to the nerves.